right. Hello, hello. God bless, God bless. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God bless. All right. Bless Sunday. Welcome, welcome. I hope that you are praising the Lord and that you are having a great time doing it. I hope that you have been able to be at his presence. I hope that your prayers have been able to receive, you know, to be received at his throne. And um, we're going to jump into prayer with our Father and then to our guardian angel. And then we are going to pray to the Holy Spirit to invite the Spirit of God into this word. All right. And um, I really, really feel like this word needs to be a little bit unstructured. I'll explain why. So let's jump into it. Our Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And please do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right. Prayer to our guardian angel. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here. Even this day be at my side to light and guard and guide. Amen. Okay. And then, last but not least, my favorite of all, Holy Spirit. <sighs> Speak through me. So, O Holy Spirit, beloved of my soul, I adore you. Enlighten me. Guide me. Strengthen me. Console me. Tell me what I should do. Give me your orders. I promise to submit myself to all that you desire of me and to accept all that you permit to happen to me. Let me only know your will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. So the first word that I'm going to give is um, someone's getting married. All right. And if that's you, congratulations. And I was like, God keeps saying I'm, get I'm getting married. And I was like, I, I can't escape the word. I'm getting married. God, I'm getting to who? <laughs> right? Like, God, I'm getting married to who? But I can't escape the word. So I'm getting married. I'm getting married. Amen. I don't... <laughs> And um, that's one word. And the reason I said that this word is not structured is because I was praying to God, right? I was praying to God. And I'm going to tell you that today the Holy Spirit confirmed the word that I was feeling. And I asked God, we all have gifts. We actually all have spiritual and prophetic gifts. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to take that back. I'm so sorry. We all have spiritual gifts. Prophecy is a gift. And I had to ask God. Um, I know I have many gifts and talents. And there was one that I asked him to turn off. And that was uh, when I was psychic. And I was doing like uh, the card readings. Or like my into. It was just heightened intuition. Unlike any other. And I was like God. I, I want it back. But I don't want the cards I just I want it back and I to be to be honest what what do they say if you don't use it you lose it right and I was like God I'm ready to to use it again please give me the gift oh but we're gonna we're you know we're gonna do it differently this time around I right. okay Lord thank you and I'm gonna tell you so I started and you gotta understand that's, a, that's an intuitive gift, right? You're, you're, I, I need, I'm like holding down here. That's an intuitive gift within your soul, within your inside. You know right from left. You know your gut instinct. That's what it is. It's a heightened gut instinct. And if you follow it, you know you can't go wrong. Amen. And I started using it. And the way I started using it was because I can read energy, right? That's an energy, all right? We're gonna take this to a whole spiritual context. It's an energy. Amen. And I said, I'll tell you, I was approaching this place and I was like, are we in the devil's territory? That's what I said. I was like, God, are we in the devil's territory? Something tells me that we're, it was it's just the energy was off. I was just driving by. I was like, we're, we're by the devil's territory. And then it said like ball shops or like like the, the demon ball and I was I knew it and I was like well if there's a demonic if there's demonic territory then there has to be angelic territory like right down the road and it said Saint 
Saints. It said Saint something, and I was like, I knew it. <laughs> I wasn't wrong. And then again, but this time it got much darker. And if you know me, you know I love to golf. And um, I didn't bring any of my golf clubs. And I was like, all right, God, maybe, I don't know, maybe like some places, sometimes they leave out clubs. Um, sometimes you can rent a pair of clubs. And I really wanted to go golfing. And I was like, let me just start looking around. And I find this place called Imperial Golf. And then down the street, it said Imperial Imperial Shops. And it wasn't on like, y'all gonna understand, sometimes following your intuition, I was like, I don't have gas to travel the world like that. Like I just called my dad for money like yesterday. Come on now. So <laughs> I was like, all right, I guess we'll turn in here since we're here. And when I turned into those imperial shops, something something was telling me, what's that? It's that intuition. It's that feeling. It's that discernment. Turn in here. You will know, you will know your answer. Why, why something about the word imperial right now. Don't, don't go to that golf course. Do not go to that golf course. Not right now. So, something is wrong. And what was it as I pulled in? The Holocaust music. The full, a full Nazi, right? KKK, evil genocide, Holocaust museum. I took a picture of it. It was closed. And then I went to go look through like what people post about it since I was there. And then I realized something. I realized the demon that was manifested after my life was the same demon that was operating years ago. It had all the, it's like uh, all the United Nations, um, the United Nations has these guidelines for what is considered genocide and that's, genocide is to kill, to end, to obliterate, right, the Jews. And it's so funny because we're gonna jump into the word of Esther, right? And something, something that stood out. Remember that what you summon by name is what you speak out into the world. Especially when you're powerful. Especially when you're when you're a child of God. Glory to God. Especially when you know that 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 your word really does manifest once you speak it. And there was a sign. Knowing this, there was a sign that said, "Remember the lives of those who have been lost." And there's that's thousands of souls. And if that's the case, why why are we glorifying? It might as well have said Hitler Golf. I promise you that. <laughs> that's what it felt like. Something was so strange about it. And here, here's what I'm gonna say about the area that I was in. Um, is it white America? Oh, for sure, without a doubt in my mind. Are there Latinos here? Yes. Uh, most of the wealthy Latinos look like myself undercover you would never know until they show something of their hispanic culture language um maybe how they practice um union together whatever it is and one thing i could tell you is that there is no black person in sight and if there is a black person in sight they're probably my server all right, I'm, I'm being very real right now. I'm being very honest. That kind of had me. It, it was that section. It was that section. And then, as I'm taking a picture, this bald guy walks right across the museum, and I'm thinking, I don't know what do they call like bald racist people, like skinheads or something like that. I'm not familiar with with uh, what what they believe or anything like that, but. And I was, something just didn't seem right. It was, I was, this is, there's something wrong about this place. It was evil. There was an evil like lurking around. All right. That's what I asked God for. I asked God to turn on that feeling again. All right. Um, and it's, it's, it's there. It's present. It's working and understand that that is a spiritual gift. Amen. That's a spiritual gift. Your, your discernment, your intuition, that gut instinct, that is a spiritual gift. Now, when it's heightened and you know more like more than any other, now I can hear God. So now, glory to God, amen, because that, that's, that's, uh, 
Not many, not everyone can hear God. Not everyone is chosen to hear God. I can hear God. So if I have a question, I just give it back to, you know, I, I go to, I go to my father, I go to our father and I ask him and then I receive, you know, confirmation or I'll receive the word something, right? Something will, will, will come back and if I'm, I'm, I'm wrong, but I ask God to turn on that feeling again. All right. Because uh, I've been relying on, on the word of God and just being in his presence. And I understand that that's taking me away from the world. So if I want to maneuver in the world, right, I'm going to have to understand that, that, that feeling again, that discernment, that intuition. Now, the word was going, going uh, outside of that. The initial word was the devil's after your heart. The devil is after your heart. I don't know who that's for but the devil's after your heart and I knew that right like the devil is the devil wants you to hate something someone initially the devil just wants you to hate it doesn't matter even if like you hate ideally to hate God ideally to hate people ideally to hate your parents ideally to hate like who made them so perfect who made you so perfect right like the only perfect one was Jesus amen so the devil wants you to hate. The devil's after your heart. And they, I, I knew that was a word because I felt like, a, God, that's not me. God, why are you darkening my spirit? God, what, what is going on? God, allow me to, to be open to receiving and to receive you. And then pastor said it. I went to church today and pastor said, um, I went to the Spanish sermon. He said, May the Holy Spirit, which carries the Spirit of God, the Spirit of light, penetrate within the dark places of your heart. And because I know that man, I, I was it was exactly what the Lord said. The Lord said, the devil's after your heart. And once he spoke that into me, it was like light. Like I could breathe. Like, thank you, Lord. Like, thank you. Like, there's, there's, there's parts of your heart that are open to receiving, you know, right? You're open to receiving luxury. You're open to receiving like, oh, well, you know, we, we can be a little bit uncomfortable for a little bit. But what happens when God makes you very uncomfortable for longer than estimated? Right? You start, you start getting some kind of resentment or um, you start looking for faults in, in everything else. And sometimes the the devil wants you to project that onto yourself but god needs you to be humble and just say god when it's when when you choose god you know um make make my heart pure god you know all things god uh re relieve this pain and suffering from me and I, I give it to you allow me to you know give give me that peace wisdom and understanding amen I know I knew the Holy I received the Holy Spirit today again and I was like yes great now asking God for gifts I was I, I was meditating on this word for <laughs> the victory of the Jews I was meditating on this word for about a day or two and the word is spiritual gifts and I'm going to read you the word and then I'm going to I'm going to tell you what I received. And this is 1 Corinthians 12. And it says, the diversities of gifts. All right. And I need to let you know before I read this that there is more to gifts than just what is written in here. All right. This is just the best understanding. And I'm going to go into it further from what Holy Spirit Holy Spirit revealed to me uh, through, through Bible study. Amen. So it says, the diversities of gifts, 1 Corinthians 12. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. 
Ye know that ye were Gentiles, carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led away. I'm sorry, even as ye were led. Wherefore, I give you to understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of God calleth Jesus accursed, and that no man can say that Jesus is Lord, but by the Holy Ghost. Amen. Now there are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are differences of administrations, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of operations, but it is the same God which worketh all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge by the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another the gifts of healing by the same Spirit. It would interrupt this word okay to another the working of miracles to another prophecy to another discerning of spirits to another diverse kinds of tongues to another the interpretation of tongues but all these worketh that one and the self same spirit dividing to every man severally as he will for as the body is one and hath many members and all members of that one body being many are one body so also is christ for by one spirit are we all baptized into one body whether we be jews or gentiles whether we be bond or free and have been all made to drink into one spirit for the body is not one member, but many. If the foot shall say, because I am not the hand, I am not the body, it is therefore not the body. If the ear shall say, because I am not the eye, I am not the body, is it therefore not the body? If the whole body were an eye, where were the hearing? If the whole were hearing, we were the smelling? But now hath God set the members, every one of them, in the body, as it hath pleased him. And if they were all one member, where were the body? But now they, they are many members, but yet, yet but one body. And the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee, nor again the head to the feet, I have no need for you. Nay much more those members of the body which seem to be more feasible are necessary and those members of the body which we think to be less honorable upon these bestow more abundant honor and our comely parts have more abundant comeliness for our comely parts have no need but god hath tempered the body together having given more abundant honor to that part which lacked that there sh should be no chism, chism in the body, but that the members should have the same care for one another. And whether one member suffer, all the members suffer with it. I need to say something about mental illness. Or one member be honored, all the members rejoice with it. Now ye are the body of Christ and members in particular. And God has set some in the church, first apostles, secondarily prophets, thirdly teachers, after that miracles, then gifts of healing, helps, governments, diversities of tongues. Are all apostles? Are all prophets? Are all teachers? Are all workers of miracle? Have all the gifts of healing? Do all with tongues? Do all interpret? But covet earnestly the best gifts and yet shew I unto you more excellent a more excellent way and then it says the way of love <sighs> take this earpiece out all right chosen one angels of God holy communion holy church of sister Joanne in Christ where we worship Lord Jesus Christ <sighs> these gifts have been given to us 
by the grace, power, and mercy of God. Now, the first revelation that I got was, um, but the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. To profit with all, right? Profit. Profit. Cha-ching, cha-ching. Money, money. Making it rain. Cash, money, flow. Cash, money, business. And I'm thinking, why am I so broke? <laughs> right? Like, if I have all these gifts and all these spirit, like, if I have all of this, like, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, God, what, why, why? We're going to leave that one alone, right? Amen. But I was, I was meditating on it. But the manifestation of the spirit is given to every man to profit with all. And I, I always have this sticky note right here. This is my sticky note. And it says here, work of wisdom, spirits, there's, there's nine gifts, work of wisdom and knowledge, uh, faith and healing, working of miracles and prophecy, um, discerning of spirits, what else is, I can't read backwards, diverse kinds of tongues, interpretation of tongues. And I was meditating on diverse kinds of tongues, diverse kinds of tongues, because um, when I went to... I went, I was at, at a Catholic church and there was someone who was like, I don't like tongues. And I was like, dang. And I remember telling her, I was like, hey, what you're saying right now, what you like and what you don't like doesn't matter. When you hear tongues, that's an opportunity. And she said, what? And I said, yes. When you, you, you know that you're in the presence of someone who is holy to God. And they're speaking in a language that you do not understand. They're speaking in tongues, right? That is an opportunity for you to close your eyes and be at the Lord's feet, covering yourself with the blood and making that word be more powerful than ever. Amen. And then I came back to it again. And I said, no, it's more than that. God, tongues, tongues, tongues. We're not... And here's the thing, sometimes you guys, some some people want the miracle of, uh, in Romans, I have to say that in Romans where St. Paul and some of the other people who went to go preach the word of God were doing it in languages that they've never spoken. Some people want that miracle um, and they, they refer to that as tongues. Oh, you don't have tongues because you are, you know... Um, you you study the language being bilingual being bilingual is a gift that is tongues all right how did this word come to me because i was in bible study and um while i was in bible study watching i, I can't escape the movie of esther and mordecai said to esther um you can speak another language um he, he said you can speak another language good job hadasha that's what her name was. Good job, Hadasha. Uh, what what a wonderful gift. And I said, I knew it. And then there's another gift <laughs> that I'm going to tell you that got revealed to me. And what was that gift? Um, when the king brought forward Queen Esther, and he said, a woman who is silent, that's that's a rare gift. And I never thought I was dang, was that, that is a gift. Because women are very, and on camera, I can sit here on camera and talk for two hours. I can preach the gospel till the end of days, amen. Um, but for the most part, you guys don't, also, you guys don't hear, you guys might feel my silence. I'm not online, I'm in the word. Uh, I'm, I'm studying. I'm in the books. That's my silence. And you don't necessarily get to feel that rare gift from me sometimes, right? Because you're in my presence now. Amen. As you are hearing me speak. But that's also a gift for a woman. Look at that. A gift that was discerned to me by the Holy Spirit. As I was meditating on gifts, the king said, Ah, a woman who doesn't speak, who is silent that is a rare gift now what happened with that gift of the woman being in the woman which is the queen being silent that when she spoke her word was powerful her demand and her request was to be taken very seriously amen amen 
I, I don't know who that's for, but I, I just, I need to reveal it. Um, and it's not to say that Queen Esther wasn't humble. She was the queen, right? So if the, if the king said, go get yourself a brand new whip, which was at that time a horse, she would have said, okay, thanks, babe. And she would have went on her way. But she didn't ask for it. That's what a king is supposed to do. He provides. But when she makes a request, he's listening closely. That taught me something, especially because I'm getting married. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> to who? I don't I don't know. <laughs> oh Jesus. I don't know. He knows what he's doing. Alright. Um, and don't don't be fooled that speaking two languages is a gift of tongues. Why is that? Why is that a gift? Because the more languages you know, the more territory I have. Here's an example. Uh, the other day I was at the beach and I was like, oh, there was some fucking creep. There was a creep and I was like, I started asking the lady, I was like, hey, can I can I leave my stuff with you right now? And she's like, I, uh, yo hablo español, ¿qué dice? And I, was, I started speaking in Spanish. She was, she was like, oh, you're one of us. <laughs> and then, the other day, again, um, I went to go ask someone for for something. Like I was like, God, what do I do? And he goes, Ask, ask her. And I was like, oh, Hey, uh, I I don't have this, this, and this. And she said, I sp I speak Russian. So I started speaking Russian. <gasps> and what what does that do? I have more territory. I can maneuver. That. The, the, the gift of tongues and guess what I want to tell you it took me I mean I'm obviously Spanish is my native tongue right I learned English and then I learned Russian it took me it took me three months dedicated to learn Russian I still had to work the gift don't think that you don't have to work the gift the same way how I opened this up I asked for intuition a heightened sense of intuition you gotta work that gift. Don't. I asked the Lord, "How do you want to do this?" All right, Lord, we're just we're gonna test the spirit. God, why does this feel evil? God, this doesn't feel right. Oh, it's the devil's territory. Now, it doesn't mean that I cannot go into the devil's territory. No, the Lord will warn me if if, if Satan himself is present. All right. Um. Say, peace, be still, as you enter. Peace, be still. You, you walk in, in that authority in Christ. Because that's what the Lord said. He's the prince of air, right? Bezebel, Satan, is the prince of the air. So as you walk into unknown territory. And you don't know what kind of spirits lie there. Ancestors who people may call on. False gods. You say, peace be still. That's the same thing Jesus said to the storm. And it stopped. Everything froze. Everything was calm. A calm came, right? Peace be still. You walk in Christ. Some people don't know that I do that when I walk in. And it changes because I know I'm powerful in the spirit. So I know it's going to change the trajectory of everything around me. Learn to work the gift. Learn to work the gift. Now, as I was meditating on these gifts for about two days, something, I'm going to tell you that Satan revealed himself again. Now I'm going to tell you what the devil said. He said, because we know we care about what God says. We don't, and we, we rebuke this in the name of Jesus. And he said, uh, you think, he specifically said, you think your gifts are going to help you, but I am patient. And that was the spirit of um, Haman while I was in Bible study. Yeah, Haman, who came against all the Jews. He was the one who developed the whole plan, right, to genocide, to kill the Jews. Oh my gosh, this word is sinking. Like, this is so biblical. Wow. And he said, I have patience to wait for your death. Work your gifts all you want. You can only work them for so long. You're right. I can only work the gifts for so long. Till I master it. Amen. Glory to God. So that's that's what I, I need you to know. And I, I was 
the Lord allowed the devil to come through the word as I was studying so clearly. That's what the devil said. The, the, the devil's waiting. He has all the patience in the world. And this is exactly why your patience needs and your your faith has to have long lasting endurance. You need to you need to work your, your gifts consistently, right? Um it's you know, I, I've said it before that being called at such a young age, it was one of those things that like, God, I, if I have to live till I'm like 120 and you called me and I'm 30, it's like 80 plus years where like, I'm going to be, my endurance has to last over 80 years, dang. So to be awakened to Christ so, so young. And there's people who are younger than me who have been awakened to Christ at such a level. Ages of 22, 24, 17, 12. Pray for them. Amen. Pray pray that they also have endurance. That, that they don't fall to the temptation of the world. Amen. So I'm just letting you know what, what was brought to me and that I want to let you know that that's the spirit of that's the spirit of deception and we rebuke it in Jesus name because we know that the devil holds no power at all he only holds uh he only holds a false deception of power of people who who fall to his trance amen and that it's a wicked spirit who uses other people to do his dirty work all right because the truth is he has no power at all he can he he, he cannot he cannot succeed wielding a weapon unless he has someone to actually wield it he has no real power where is exactly why these people their their plots fall back on their heads and this is exactly what we're gonna read and this is a prayer we're gonna go into a prayer in the apocrypha and it's the prayer of Esther and uh, I, I was told specifically chapter 14 so it says here Queen Esther also being in fear of death restored unto the Lord and laid away her glorious apparel and put on the garments of anguish and mourning and instead of precious ointments she covered her head with ashes and dung and she humbled her body greatly and all the places of her joy filled with her with her torn hair and she prayed unto the Lord God of Israel, saying, O oh my Lord, thou only art our king. Help me, desolate woman, which have no helper but thee. This is a prayer. For my danger is in my hand. From my mouth, from, I'm sorry, from my youth up, I have heard in the tribe of my family that thou, O oh Lord, tookest Israel from among all the people, and our fathers from all their predecessors for a perpetual inheritance and thou has performed whatsoever thou didst promise them and now we have sinned before thee therefore has thou given us into the hands of our enemies because we worshiped their gods O Lord thou art righteous nevertheless it satisfieth them not that we are in bitter captivity, but they have stricken hands with their idols, that they will abolish the thing that thou with thy mouth has ordained, and destroy thine inheritance, and stop the mouth of them that praise thee, and quench the glory of thy house and of thine altar, and open the mouths of the heathen to set forth the praises of the idol and to magnify a fleshly king forever. O Lord, give not thy sceptre unto them that be nothing, and let them not laugh at our fall, but turn thy device upon themselves, and make him an example that hath begun this against us. Remember, O Lord, make thyself known in time of our affliction, and give me boldness, O King of the nations and Lord of all power, give me eloquent speech in my mouth before the lion, 
turn his heart to hate him that fighteth against us, that there may be an end of him, and of all that are like-minded to him. But deliver us with thine hand, and help me that I am desolate, which have no other helper but thee. Thou knowest all things, O Lord. Thou knowest that I hate the glory of the unrighteous, and I abhor the bed of the uncircumcised and of all the heathen. Thou knowest my necessity, for I abhor the sign of my high estate, which is upon my head in the days wherein I shew myself, and that I abhor it as a menstruous rag, and that I wear it not when I am private by myself, and that thine handmaiden hath not eaten at Ammon's table, and that I have not greatly esteemed the king's feast, nor drunk the wine of the drink offerings. Neither had thine handmaiden any joy since the day that I was brought hither to this present, but in thee, O Lord, God of Abraham. O thou mighty God above all, hear the voice of the forlorn, and deliver us out of the hands of the mischievous, and deliver me out of my fear. Amen, 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 hallelujah, rejoice, glory to God, praises to the king because he will do it. This prayer came to pass, this prayer shall come to pass in Jesus' name, amen. There's something she said here and it said, turn thy heart. What did I say? The devil is after your heart the devil's trying to harden your heart the devil's trying to make some kind of I want it's like a crack in your heart to hate something knowing that if you if you just accept it with love that it'll be better may the Holy Spirit come into your heart again and relieve you of any type of hatred energy dark energy or anger relinquish you from from any types of bonds of satan in jesus name so that you make you may make room for blessing so that you may make room for mercy so that you may make room for what god truly has for you um and i want to say this there's a condition where you can have scar tissue form on your heart and it'll calcify and it'll harden your heart to the point where it doesn't pump anymore. And you need, as, as a pre-medical, right, you would need some kind of fibrillator to do the pumping for you because you have a hardened heart. You don't want that synthetic help. You want the help from the Lord to make you so pure. To let your, your heart be regulated by the Holy Spirit, by the, by the Spirit of Christ. Divine mercy, the heart of divine mercy. Um, a heart of gold. <laughs> if if it, there's any type of, of, of uh, if there's any type of heart that you would want, it would be a heart of gold. Not uh, a heart of scar mm -hmm. tissue. Oh no, the device is overheating again. Sorry about that. You don't want a heart filled with scar tissue. You want a pure heart. All right. And she specifically said here, and in Bible study, the the word was um, turn. 
but turn their device upon themselves, right? If you have an evil heart, God, let that turn on them. Like, my heart's not evil. My heart's not like that. My heart posture was always on, on the positive side of life, looking for an optimistic outcome in you. Amen. So, please, Lord, let, let their heart turn against themselves. And that was the key. That was their demise, right? The same pit that they dug for you, it turned on them. But the Lord did it. And I also need to let you know that Mordecai was the one that that said if they it was one of those things that like uh, as I was meditating on it and I'm, I'm gonna put this down because we're done with scripture but as I was meditating on it I was like God I've, I've spoken of peace and the time for peace has expired it's time for war you've already had the chance for slack you've already had that grace period who is you today you're not on my good side. You're not, no, especially for certain people. This is a devil. This is someone that has allowed themselves to be used by the devil. This is someone that has not repented of their sin. Be very careful. Some people are really good at, at wanting to be in your graces. To say, oh, I, I always, I always knew you could do it. Oh, I'm, I've always been there for you. But just like a Haman, they've been behind the scenes plotting. This is exactly why you need to ask for spiritual discernment. To know the spirit that's operating behind this person and this person is the one who is enjoying this power. They don't want to come to God. That's too hard. It's, why, why come to God? It's too hard to come to God. You know God's going to hold you accountable. You know God holds scales, right? He, or he sends Archangel Michael. Ar Archangel Michael holds scales. He likes a balance. So what I'm going to tell you is that just like Mordecai, he said, they want war. We're going to have to fight back. And that's just what it's got to be for certain people in your life. You got to discern that. You got to discern how far they went with their plot. Because some people only want to, you know, some people, some people wouldn't mess with you if they knew. This is the, the realization of Haman. Haman's after power. So he struck someone who was low, right? He struck the Jews, right? The Jews who, who he looked as, as beneath them. And the queen was of higher stature, right? And he had a power trip. If I would have known that they were an extension of you, yeah, but clearly you don't see, you don't see God on the throne because you would have known. What does God say? Your distress is my concern. Amen. That, that's what the Lord says. That, that's the spirit of Christ. That's the same thing that Queen Esther said. Her distress is my concern. I don't know her, but her distress is my concern. And all of a sudden, that's when, when Haman was shocked. That's, he would never understand the, the glory of Christ. He would never understand the, the type of helping brother that he is. And there's certain people that with the love of God to protect your own, you're going to have to go to war. There was a time for peace. But you chose war. You made that clear. This is someone who's made it very, very clear. So God said he's going to turn it on them. All right? And it's coming to pass. It's coming to pass. I'm dropping names. Huh? Okay, yeah, this person. Yeah, this person. Oh, well, this person did this. I'm dropping names. Amen. In, in the name of Jesus. And it's going to fall back on them. Remember that they want, this is an evil spirit that wants genocide for you because you hold the spirit of God you hold the spirit of Christ within you you are righteous to the Lord you are holy you are part of his covenant and, and here's the thing too not only you but the promise he made to your fathers to your ancestors that that lineage belongs to him and you have to sometimes you got to understand that for some of these people they're here on earth not living prosperously because they blasphemed against the Holy Spirit in their past life and their previous life and they, they they've had another chance and they still go against it and this that's their punishment but now because you come to Christ because you come to the Holy Spirit because you you don't blast remember you blaspheme against the Holy Spirit you will not be forgiven not in this lifetime nor the next 
So when I saw the Holy Spirit, what do you, I knew there was I I just knew it's it's that serious. It's not from this world. It's, it's so powerful. It's so peaceful. I can't ever say anything bad against it, and I won't. Neither can you. it's that serious but you have to understand that these people these people refuse to come to that power and then they wonder why they're in bondage because you didn't allow the Holy Spirit into your heart so yeah you're gonna have scar tissue on your heart until they receive the Holy Spirit in their heart the Spirit of God the Spirit of Christ they are never gonna soften up so if God says it's war then it's war and it's going to turn back on their heads, but you're going to have to defend yourself. And I'm going to tell you something. This is the last thing I'm going to close off at. Is that at this church, it was, it was so beautiful. And they also have a garden. And they had 12, I believe it's 12 stations. And the first one was Jesus is condemned. And then it says Jesus is mocked. Um, Jesus takes the cross Jesus is stripped Jesus falls down Simon helps Jesus and then the next one again said Jesus falls down Jesus meets his mother Veronica helps Jesus and then the one after that said Jesus falls down I was crying I was crying so hard because even the king I need to say this even your king fell down so many times even with help the next one after that after Veronica it says uh, Jesus consoles Jesus is hung up on the cross Jesus dies. Jesus is buried. Jesus is resurrected. Amen. And I, I cried. I cried. Lord, what are you trying to tell me from this? That he fell, even with help. You know, sometimes people want to rag on you. Like, oh, you had you had help and you, you, you're still going through it? Yes. Oh, this person did just... just this for you and even then I'm here consoling you through my suffering I'm here I'm here giving you the word through my pain and the other revelation was as many times as he fell he still consoled he still gave graces to his mother he was he, he took it like a man he picked up his cross he kept walking and he never rejected the help amen that was something I had to learn too I can't reject the help. I can reject the affliction, yes. I see your plot, I see what you're doing. This is not help, this is a plot. <laughs> this is not correction, this is this is evil. Um, this is illegal, this is wrong. <laughs> but the Lord, the Lord gave me a lot of revelation that he fell and he had help. That he did a lot, even while he was suffering. Great suffering. Now, the other thing was that you also have to understand that they did that to your king. And if they did that to your king, and if he was to come back, they would do it all over again to your king. They don't give a fuck about your king. I need to say it like that. My God. You're going to say that about my God? You're going to say that about my Jesus? They would do it all over again with delight to your king. The Lord knows that they would do it to you too. You need to know that. That the Lord knows that they would do it to you too. They are. They're trying. And at the end, he, and he's going to let them succeed sometimes. I need to let you know that. I don't know what death has came into your life. I don't know what has transpired. He's going to let them. But guess what? When resurrection comes, 
he only revealed himself to certain people. You're no longer able to be my graces. You crucified me. Um, I need to say this about grandparents because there's a grandparent right here in front of me, and th this word, this word is is in line with the meditation I had today. Sometimes you have toxic grandma and grandpa, and you have to understand that I had. I have a very toxic mother, toxic grandma that wants to be mom, right? Who doesn't know her place. To the point where my kids were taken from me, she was glorifying it. Oh, look at the pictures they sent me because I never sent her photos, right? Uh, trying to dish it back out at me. And guess what God said now? Because I saw this video of this Asian family and they were, you know, Asian grandpa was enjoying the grandkids. And he knew his place, he's grandpa. So because he knew his place and the boundaries, right? These are people who don't know boundaries. God said, you will never have no part. Work on blessing your daughter. And maybe then you'll work on, uh, you'll work on getting that far again, ever again. We'll see. And it's true. It came to pass. It was so true. If they did it to Jesus, if they did it to your king, they would do it to you. They're going to do it to you. But when you're resurrected, and they're so different, whether that's mentally, mental space. Whether that's mentally, you're different. Oh, you don't like that now? No, I don't, I don't, I don't participate in bullshit. <laughs> I don't have time for your nonsense. I'm not entertaining you. Oh. It's a cold day in hell for them, right? Because the clown needs a, he needs an audience to show off. Why do you think that social media is so evil, right? Because Satan needs a place to boast. He needs the audience. What good, you know? Clearly, I want to say like a, they, they. I, I saw something that said Lucifer was a musician in heaven. And there comes a time that you prepare for your recital, right? Your recital, you don't want there to be any mistakes. Uh, your, your composition, right? Music. And then everything is for that recital, for that moment. And it's a moment. And it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. That's how these people feel. They lack boundaries. It's not enough. If they did it to God, they will do it to you. They, they, they would do it to your king. And because you follow the king, you have to understand, they would do it to your king all over again. So when you're resurrected, you need, you need to know that just the, way, the same way the Lord revealed himself, you're not there mentally for those people anymore to entertain their foolishness. You're not there for those people anymore to entertain their gossip. You're not there because you follow a king who is who wouldn't entertain that either, right? You adopt his ways. Specifically because you have been resurrected. Probably one of the most powerful things I felt today. Your king fell. You're gonna fall. I don't know who needs to hear that. You're gonna fall. It's gonna get tough. It's gonna fucking suck. I'm sorry. He fell. And he had help. And he fell. He had help, and then he helped someone else. And then he fell, he took the cross and he kept going, and he fell. Jesus falls down, Jesus falls down, Jesus falls down. And then glory, resurrection. He is standing up taller, brighter, more glorious, more well-known than ever. Thank you for that. You got me through 12 afflictions, and now I'm resurrected in Jesus name specifically in Jesus name not in not in any other false god not 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 in anything else I don't know what that's for be very careful of, of whoever lacks that boundary and understand that your resurrection is powerful but if they did it to your if they did it to your king they don't care about your king they're going to do it to you too and you got to understand that your king's going to take you through that same walk. But he's going to give you that same resurrection. Glory to God. Um, 
I, I don't have anything else for you, all right? I, I love you so much. Um, a lot of a lot of words, a lot of, uh, I, I hope you find your spiritual gift, amen? And don't think that it's just a text, all right? There's a, uh, you, you can work miracles with, some people know how to work miracles with, with finances. Some people know how to turn nothing into something. Some people, uh, some some people know how to turn, take take certain things and those are gifts those are gifts those are gifts all right and um i have many gifts myself right i'm a healer i have wisdom i have knowledge i have discernment i have tongues a lot of gifts and satan doesn't want you to know about your gifts you have many gifts yourself so that you may profit. I love you with the love of Christ. Bless Sunday. Keep worshiping and blessing your King. And we bless his holy and mighty name. And Lord, we can only pray that you bless us in return. As, as we glorify you and we exalt you. And we humble ourselves before you. Because we know that you hold all the power. And we know that there is no other power. It's it's a false power. It's the, the spirit of deception. And lord receive us and, and let their plans turn onto their heads because that was the word they they intended for genocide uh lord put genocide to all of their plots in your holy and mighty name and and exalt your children to be greater than anything they've ever known you hold that power you hold that wisdom you know all things we leave it in your hands so god bless you god be with you we're going to close this out in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit all right. Bye-bye, chosen one. Bye-bye, angels.